We've already done the volume rough, so now we're going to look at two ways that we can finish the machining process. Um, this is still the same part. If we go to mill, we can start with a surface milling process. So we'll select surface milling. We're going to change the tool because there actually isn't enough room to get that 8 millimeter bit that we, that we used before into the side of this. We're going to use, need to use a 5 millimeter bit. We'll look at parameters, we'll look at surfaces, and we'll define the cut. So we select done. So let's change our tool here. I've already changed it actually to a 5 millimeter diameter end mill. We could be a ball mill, it could be anything we want, but we'll just leave it as an end mill for now. Oh, let's reset everything. <clears throat> okay. Again, we'll put in some somewhat random or let's say arbitrary numbers here. We have the same options as before. We have some different cut types. complete at least the yellow fields that need to be completed. Now it's again giving us some hints. It's select, suggesting that we select some surfaces from the model and that's exactly what we'll do. It's saying we need to select some surfaces. We'll select this one, control click this one, and we'll click that one as well. That'll finish all those surfaces for us. Okay. We've now done this. <coughs> and we're done this now asking us how we want to make the cut. This is going to be a straight cut in XY plane. We can do it at some angle, but there's no reason to put in an angle at this point. So that's it. We're done. We're done sequence that. And now we'll just play this path uh, just to see what it looks like. Okay. And that's got that one millimeter step over that we put in before. Great. All right. There's one other way we can finish this to do profile milling. This is pretty straightforward, but it's a different sort of setup process. And the yellow is giving us some indication of what it wants us to deal with first. Put in some numbers here. This is the depth, of the step down that it's going to take. We'll do one millimeter step downs here. <coughs> okay. We do need to add some surfaces. Click here to add an item. We'll select this. Control click that. Control click that. And that's it, we're done. Now we can play this path and see what the difference is. We'll do a spiral cut. Okay, so we're done with that. And the last step is to generate our G code. So back in the manufacturing tab, save a CL file, select the sequence that we want to use. Now we can either do the surface mill or the profile milling. Uh, let's just select the surface mill for now. We need to change the file. So we'll click MCD, compute CL, done. We need to give it a name. This is our ME surface. <coughs> Pick a post processor, enter a program number. This will take three and a half minutes or so, and that's it, just to show you. Uh, and that's going to give us a .tap file, which will be readable in just about any G code reader. <coughs> 